Today, uh, Varuna and I, we are presenting an interior design project of ours, which is uh, an interior of a co-working facility. This is a uh, new ventures, which is uh, started in Chennai here. They are called Work Easy. And uh, we have uh, done three locations of theirs. All of them are in Chennai, in the CBD and the areas near the airport. Uh, Starting on this, uh, while approaching this design uh, at the initial stages, Varuna and I were, uh, we understood this uh, genre of, or this typology of workspace as, uh, you know, where the occupants would be mostly young millennials who would rather not be working in stereotype, uh, boring offices, who have generally short attention spans and uh, where the, you know, the, the line between a home and the workspace is rather blurred now. So something which is relaxing yet motivating, uh, very vibrant, cheerful, and a fun loving space to work in. Something which is mood elevating for them. So having set this uh, tone, uh, we as designers also like to use a lot of, you know, natural materials, material in their raw and uh, natural form. Uh, in setting this context, we uh, set about creating the material palette and while doing so we evaluated a lot of materials like natural stones, granite, marble, of course you have a plethora of tiles available today, even uh, grano flooring, but all of this we found to be very commonly used in, uh, in the commercial spaces, uh, it's been you know exploited to that extent. So we, we really you know searched hard and we chanced upon Kalinga, which we were, of course, familiar with. We have done a lot of work with CMC, and we were aware of Kalinga as this thing, but particularly their terrazzo range, it really, you know, blew our mind. And uh, we found that to be a very apt uh, material for our application. Kalinga, I mean, as many of you all know, as a material is something which is very easy to maintain and is very easy to work with. It is something which brings in the old world charm of mosaic, which I guess many of us have, you know, grown up in our childhood, living in such built environment, all our homes in them days before the ceramic and vitrified uh, tile came in, it was mostly all mosaic and in situ terrazzo. So in that sense, we found uh, this material, which is also very, uh, you know, eco-friendly and sustainable in its uh, form, being uh, mostly made out of, uh, you know, uh, raw materials, which are recycled. So there were so many plus points which uh, you know, came forth to us. But most of all, what really uh, drew us into Kalinga's uh, terrazzo range particularly is its color palette. So right from the light grays to the blacks and the colors in between, we found this so uh, enchanting that the kind of space that we wanted to create, Kalinga just, just fitted into that slot just right, you know. So, with this, uh, I will just roll a few of the uh, photographs that I have. This, thing. this is the floor plate. This is roughly about a lack of square feet in this facility. So I'm only showcasing the, the first floor, which is the co-working floor, which has all these breakout spaces and all that, along with some of the smaller modules of workspaces. So that is the first impression that one would get. So here you will notice that we have used uh, a color called Novona or Navona, which, which is our base uh, material. And we have used this in such a way that it acts, um, uh, it complements all the other textures, hues, and uh, you know, the materials, which uh, is you know, uh, designed around it. Yet all the materials you know, uh, sort of stand out and uh, have their own identity. Like you can see the, you know, the seating uh, choices here we've made with the vibrant colors, the, the boldness of, you know, materials in their raw form, which goes so well with the, the Kalinga uh, stone that we have used, the terrazzo on the floor. 
or be it the raw and uh, distressed look of the brick wall even we have you know broken the monotony of this uh, stone using some tiles a little bit just to break the thing and give a sense of direction and an actual focus on the floor plan floor plan of course the rugs which have been thrown around on the floor also break the monotony but as you can see in this whole panel palette where we have some burnt uh, terracottas we have the brick we have uh, such you know vivid colors on the upholstery the stone uh, acts as a very good base element complementing all these textures and hues the floor plan and the design is very very free flowing and no no rigid boundaries it's uh, you know just as casual and easy going sort of a walk office space there are lots of these collaborative tables for and we call these hot desks teleports sitting and you know meeting lounges these are all collaborative spaces here you can see again the material how it sort of you know allows all others uh, materials to stand out yet we have also brought this material into the washrooms as as i had said earlier a good alternative to the usual uh, you know uh, solid surfaces and stones that we have used a lot so here we have used uh, a couple of uh, other colors of course these are the cafeteria areas i'll now go into uh, more specific uh, i will just pick up and highlight we have used this material broadly in three applications one is uh, for flooring and cladding so there may be some other yeah here you can see again the other nice uh, feature of kalinga is that it uh, comes in such a nice large format so it uh, uh, resembles your in situ terrazzo mosaic and uh, there are so few joints the material particularly the dark ones like what we have used here it takes in a lot of polish and uh, we, we we got the really the mirror a reflective uh, surface as you can see here in some of the photographs it is it's a wonderful material to polish and use and if one knows how to maintain this i think it's a it's a wonder wonder material even uh, granite doesn't come near this so if you can see here these are the corridors around the spaces so i mean the fact that we love to use materials in their raw form is reflected here by the use of concrete blocks galvanized corrugated metal panels ramping some levels using them this is just around the corner of the elevator lobby so as uh, everyone would know that this corner of course this being a co-working space this doesn't have like a main door a glass door or anything so the corners so that they are protected and they do not you know get dirty and all that so we used uh, this material uh, right across the front walls here the elevator core is to the right actually of this photograph these are we've used even the stone as architraves or you know jam lining uh, leading into the washrooms so this is i think a color called san pietro the same material has come into the countertop very simple clean and uh, just small uh, rounded edges there the other color i think this is livori uh, the yellow very beautiful it stands out so well in the otherwise you know the black tiled and the gray tile uh, on the floor the countertop has come out so nice and this, this particularly this particular washroom was uh, highly appreciated by our clients also urinal dividers we did two facilities uh, we have completed so the photographs are uh, a mix and match some of them are from one the other one uh, is from the other facility so the colors are uh, from two different uh, locations 
so we covered some flooring some wall cladding some you know the how we have used this uh, in the washrooms of course like the previous uh, presenter had mentioned about a monolithic look this being an office i wanted to bring some uh, vibrancy and some you know contrasting material so we use this as a part of a larger palette then the third area where we thought of using this was in the, the furniture uh, side of it of course the work areas all uh, have modular furniture uh, partly because of its efficiency and the durability and uh, the cost effectiveness but in the co-working in the common spaces uh, as far as possible where it's all custom design we have used uh, kalinga as a material in uh, largely so as you can see this is a very large front desk so their uh, requirement was that at least three or four people must be seated uh, behind this desk because there are about 15 to 1600 people who will be working out of this facility though it's not fully occupied just yet but uh, the interface is, is very high so we came up with this interesting design. The lines are very clean, which suited us with this material. Of course, this reception is of the other location. This one is the other one. So you can see there's a difference in the backdrop. But the palette, the theme, everything else was uh, uh, kept in one resonance. We call these booth seating here and again see the uh, contrast with the dark Novona on the floor and I think this stone we have, this is the Riva, Riva is, uh, we used it for the table tops. Again, these are uh, collaborative hot desks which uh, the occupants would use for their meetings or even if they are just members of this co-working company, they can just occupy any seat and work through the day. So. Uh, you know, we we found this material, this the smoothness and the, the the finish of this in contrast to the distressed brick look at the back, and uh, this is the kind of opportunities that this material gives gives you to play and uh, have fun with. So where we had the dark orange upholstery, and we thought of using this light gray to offset that. The other facility, we tried it with, this is, I think, a stone called Elba. And uh, again, a wonderful uh, color. It's uh, far more vibrant than the Navona with so many beautiful marble chips. Um, this is wonderful, really. And I would strongly urge uh, designers to consider this in their uh, palette. We really love using this. These are small, you know, teapoys or small uh, coffee tables, which uh, form part of another seating arrangement where we have a long sofa along the wall and uh, single seaters like this. So this is a slightly lower height table. We used uh, uh, two layers of uh, Kalinga uh, where we had the bottom edge beveled as you can see in this photograph, this one or this one. So that's the kind of pliability this material also offers you. So the bottom shelf is uh, 40 mm this one also though 40 we have kept about 12 mm as a vertical edge and then chamfered the remaining 25 to 28 mm and uh, given this uh, detail that's about it i didn't know that my presentation got over uh, thank you everyone over to you shraddha